Hi, this is me. I get real. This is AM. Still AM, barely, on Friday, September 21st, 018. Or, obviously, 018. 2018. I am. Oh, shoot, that's probably the mail. I see the shadow part. The reflection on the ceiling. I am doing eBay this morning, and I have this huge deadline that's due a week from today, and I gotta work all of my jobs from now until then. And my patients seem needy during these times. And it's like, you want to tell them like, oh, I'm not available. I got like fruit flies in here. I got like some ants came in yesterday in the house. I got dishes, something, there's knives. Somebody put knives in the sink. I probably put one, I bet my nose open. Yeah, because I don't want to grab the knife. I think my parents taught me that. I don't want to like reach in and look for a fork and grab a knife. And I am just like, I haven't gone to my community meetings. And I just had um, menses and I thought I was going to die. And I was at work the other day. I don't know if I even left by 2.30 a.m. or not. And then I had to be yesterday, yesterday at home from work at 2.30 or after 3 a.m. So his son called me around 3 a.m. to be like, where the heck are you? And when I had to go back and leave here at 3 p.m., but in between that, I was supposed to sleep and then meet my son's teacher in the morning, um, which I was counting down. I was like, I'm going to wake up right in time. But the guy texted us at 8.30 a.m. And I was like, I know. I knew he was going to do it. And I don't turn my ringer off. And I don't want to miss sleep through an alarm. And turn the phone off, and so I just, like, came back home and had the TV and everything turned on and actually fell asleep until the alarms went off and then the supervisor called I had to be to work on like, remotely at two. <laughs> I was, like, in bed, and I saw this guy at the pizza store. I've seen him before. He was asking about my day, and I felt rude. Then I started talking about my kid. One of my kids needed to meet his teacher. I was like, oh, I wonder if that guy was flirting with me. Like, but I'm like, this guy was like, like nodding off. And I was like, oh, excuse me, I have your food. And he's like, oh, I've just been working so much and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I feel all strung out and stuff because I'm working so much. But he actually has days off. So we are um, going to work from home. I'm um, selling the brand new Dave Ramsey. This is part of a set. I wish I had watched this. Dumping Debt, Breaking the Chains of Debt, and um, Prayer. Um, one of the Hagen, Kenneth E. Hagen from the Rima um, books. I had until yesterday. I don't know if they count at midnight, like Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, or Thursday. Oh, Thursday, Friday. I'm trying to think about um, Like, you know, midnight, it's like, is it midnight the day before to midnight? Or, that day till the night. So, I, as far as I know, I was, I was top rated plus September 19th on eBay for having really good um, stuff on my account, good feedback, um, uploading, tracking numbers in a timely manner, sending stuff out, and because I made less to make a thousand to a hundred thousand a year to be top rated and then you have to do extra stuff to be top rated plus I was about sixty something bucks short on the thousand dollars for the year or for the yeah for what they measured me. So now I'm above standard and I'm so mad because it was everything else is like perfected and you have your sixty bucks shy and now you're gonna lose all the discounts and all of the perks and all of the badges. Um, so I'm going to, and I even like drop the price on a bunch of stuff. I'm going to restructure my store. It makes me want to cry because you bust your butt and all your money because the way people get stuff cheap and they have capital and they can tweak their accounts. If you tweak your account all day, you sell more stuff because it pushes your, like, you want to buy this, like, 
cut up a piece of paper, like if I keep tweaking my account, this will show up first in the listing, and I can say it's promoted and all this stuff. Versus someone's got to work seven days a week outside, you're just like letting it be stagnant, even though it's like instead of selling you this piece of paper for 10 bucks, I'll sell you a brand new unopened pack for eight free shipping, you know, free returns. Like, so it's like I'm, I'm not going to be perked from that with some idiot selling a broken up piece of paper. That they let their dog chew is going to have more, like, more people, like, hey, oh, I think I need this, I think I need this, like, oh, they have 12 of them, must be popular, like, they already sold 122 pieces of chewed up paper, I'm going to write the notes to these people, so I'm pretty bummed, um, hold on, I think, I think, so I have my, I have my slips here, so to make sure I don't mix them up, because I have two media coming out. I have, I have to call, I gotta call my job, this is so frustrating, um, I was planning on taking a shower today, trust me, hold on, alright, so, this is, so I, I said, you know, um, some of the eBay, YouTube eBay guys were talking about not doing free shipping, changing the Poshmark, um, not free, sh they weren't doing free shipping or they weren't doing free returns or some things like for me, I read if you could still be top rated but not get the badge if I had a book or media that I offered no returns or no free returns for media. And I just read that the other day. Um, and then there was an issue with eBay, people not having views and they were getting discounts and re the sellers were getting money back and I didn't ask for any money I'm like whatever I'm not going to nitpick but then if the system was broken and people aren't viewing things then you're not going to sell anything and my sales were the worst like they were pretty bad like they were the worst since I started my store I started my store with very few items and I would sometimes go 30 days without selling anything because I only had like three things up and I that was like just household hardware items anyone could get at any store in their town. Nothing unique, no no name brand clothes. And then as I started adding more and more stuff. But yeah, the views and the sales tanked in the summer and the spring. And I said, oh, I'll just, you know, let them keep their money. I'm not going to stay on the phone and get sent overseas to somebody and beg for my three cents per item or whatever. But now I kind of wish I did because then I would feel like it's not necessarily my fault that stuff didn't sell because I have my own niche, niche. and um, that makes it like, like things that aren't readily available or it's like if I have a kind of a shrug White House black market black shred I didn't see any more on, on eBay by the way but you can get a whole bunch of stuff that brand name and that style similar style and you know what whether it's that company or another you, you could look at it like I did on Amazon for books and be like this guy's a penny cheaper I'm gonna get that I'm gonna save a penny um, once in a while I would order stuff and I don't know if this did any good that was from Washington or California so I'd be like, oh, if they actually ship it within a day, then I would get it past her for school. Because if school was starting, say, Monday, I would be, like, a little, I might pay a little bit more. And then you get that whole trick of that for Amazon. And my Amazon account got shut down. Because um, I was going to sell all my books on Amazon, like, all of my school books. And I found out that um, the books that I bought on Amazon were illegally sold in North America. And I got my, um, and I called them and said, I need someone, they always said, we will contact you within 24 hours, and no, I called three times, and, or, and, or left messages, nobody contacted me, period, there, there wasn't even a auto message, <laughs> like, these totally ignored it, and I was like, I do not want to work for Amazon, or work under Amazon, if they're going to be that rude, when they're letting, these people had hundreds of thousands of reviews so these people are legally selling 
probably a million books a year or more to North America that are supposed to be in India, Nepal, you know, different parts of Asia only. And it makes me so mad, especially when medical books are expensive. And when you get it, it says this book uh, not to be sold in North America and some of the content may not be like what you, like if your teacher says to get the book, it's like it may not be what you need for your studies or may not be accurate or, you know, whatever. And it may so mad or may not be relevant to your country. I had little warnings in it and I was so mad. I did know somebody who went overseas and got some books because she was from India. And she brought back some board study books. I actually have some of those. And um, so, I, of course, I didn't try to sell those. And I was like, can I give these away? And they're taking up space. And actually use those to study my boards. Um, So they're trying to get me, they keep calling me to get me to open this other, or this store, or other store, or something, or Pizza Hut, and I'm like, I get paid less than the other guys, um, and, and I have to drive, and keep up my car, and pay insurance, I pay more insurance to be a driver, I haven't driven in like a month, and all this weird stuff, and I'm and one guy will be like, I'll do anything to go show that I'm available and just get moved out to a higher level. And the other guy is like experienced and knowledgeable, but he's like, these people don't do me any favors. Why should I do any favors? Like, there's this, this, so I'm like in the middle of, like, I have my own feelings. It's just like, I'm a single mom and I work and I have my business and I'm like tired and don't feel well. All right, so we're going to do the book. I have to leave. I should leave in nine minutes to go to the post office before work starts. Okay, let's just... Okay, so we're going to take... All right, I'm not going to show the name. I uh, have two pieces of paper. And we're going to start with the book. And... Um, put a stack under here so I don't mess up the book. I'm going to put this in just a... It used to be called a bread bag, a storage bag. With some tape on it. I do have... Do I have... I thought I bought other guys in and, and I do print up slip so I have all of these fees associated with with my business and the cost that I have about five businesses two I believe two or is it three I think three of them are registered with the state because I two of them are LLCs one is a Cuba business and I had no business and then t tutoring I do like only a couple of times a year and I usually don't get paid so that's just like fees, that's nothing. Um, I, w I will put it, like I don't think I got anything this year, any money. I got money like once or twice in my whole, in my whole like past 10 years. Um, and then, like you know, like 10 bucks or something like that. And then, whatever. Oh, my other story. So the three businesses, my clinic, my, my online store that's like not connected to eBay, and then my dual business, and then eBay and tutoring, and then the two jobs I work for other people. And so because both job always wants you to bend over backwards and do extra work for them, but neither job gives you enough money just at that job to, um, to live like even you work multiple jobs I'm still um, not making enough money to live you know I'm trying to get energy assistance because I can't afford to pay my light bulb right now and, and I don't spend money and I pick up pennies and I take people I take bottles out of the trash for to that refund um, if I can find any and I'm like I feel desperate and I get I could get tips at my job and you get a stack of receipts with zero tips 
and you might get a tiny little handful of tips and it's like really and you're like even if they gave you 10 percent they think you didn't do anything. You ran the whole store, made your food, cut it, made it all nice, pretty, you were polite, clean. I was like, sometimes you just feel like you just slap it together and just throw it on there and tell them, see you. And don't, like, don't let, like, you feel like you probably get more money anyway. It's like, is it worth it? But you just want to pretend everyone gave you $10. You don't want to, like, treat them as though they gave you $10. But not that it has to do with money. Just treat them like that's what you're worth even if they put a big zero with a bunch of X's in it. Which I think is rude. So it's really hard when you have more than one job and they're asking for demands and you're trying really hard to juggle both schedules and being a single mom. And then you're trying really hard to To do your own businesses, and you say, "Oh, I'll do mine later. Oh, I can do mine at 6 a.m. Oh, I can do mine at 3 a.m." But then you're like busy, or something, or you're sleeping at 6 a.m. or 3 a.m. or you're working somewhere else at 3 a.m. Like I was at my office at 3 a.m. the other day. I didn't even go in. I just checked the mail. I didn't even open it. <sighs> I, I I was thinking I dream of genie and bewitched, and I was like, don't they both wiggle their noses? And I was thinking in my mind. I watch Bewitched more than I Dream of Genie. It's on right now. And I was thinking in my mind, Cheaters, the House of the Wall is perfect for the witch girl. And they don't work. And Samantha, my cat's been missing me. So it's like, if you work for yourself, you can make more money and be in your pajamas while you're working. Go out, they dress, they run errands on the way to, to the post office or back. And then when you are um, work for somewhere else, it's like that time is tied up. You can't give your kids rides, you, you can't use the bathroom when you need, you can't eat lunch when you need. You're like, oh, something goes brown so much yesterday. And I brought a banana and a flower bar. And I finished the banana this morning, my guinea pig, and guinea pigs and rabbit. Please, I'll say thank you for your order. Please enjoy the book. I'll put um, steps to answer. I have to focus. Make sure I don't. What's the name of the book I was looking for? All right, so. Um. What did I do with the stickers? I just cut open a bunch of stickers. So I asked, so I'm going to do this during my lunch break. I'm going to take this to the post office. I used to stick it in the, um, what's I wrote on that one? I used to stick it in the spot. It's prepaid. I already paid for the postage, but then the post office was not scanning them. And I, I learned early on I was getting defects and I didn't even know to look for defects because I was, they said you have one business day to mess with the pay for shipping and that you have um, to get it sent out by the next day. If they order yesterday, I have today that I can print the label before midnight. I don't even know if it's midnight and then, because I've done stuff before midnight and it's still said that I was late. I've done stuff before 5 p.m. and it still said I was late and I'm like, eBay is on the East Coast so I don't know what, like, that stuff. Like, really, like, and you look all over on eBay, they do not answer these questions very clearly. They're like, oh, you must do this in a certain amount of time, but they won't say midnight or 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. Like, they don't, like, they might say it somewhere, but most things I looked at is community. And some of the stuff is from six years ago when people answered the question. And that's where I get most of my answers. I don't like a company that does that. Because you'll find outdated stuff, you'll find the new stuff, and you'll find stuff that doesn't pertain to you. Because your store is different than somebody else's. It's set up different or it's different. And it's like... 
I have a couple boxes that I bought. Yeah. I just want to be. I was selling a lot before the past few months. I was selling a decent amount. I was at the post office every day. Only like one day I actually went to the post office twice. <laughs> I was like, here I am again. Um, I think I must have pushed the wrong day. I think it was 4 o'clock. And I said, oh, I'm going to ship this tomorrow. And then I shipped it. I accidentally put the wrong day. That's a problem. You have like I did that before on a Saturday. My post office isn't open on a Saturday, and so uh, I had to go to a different post office. Like we don't scan here. I'm like, you don't have a scan. I'm like she's like, don't worry, it'll get it'll get scanned at the next stop. And I was like, oh my god, I've had stuff going to California that got scanned right before midnight. In Washington State, it went up north, and then I think I got a defect for that, and I was like, I I shipped it like probably like eleven something, twelve o'clock in the afternoon. And I was like, I would be even more trouble if it didn't get scanned until after midnight. And it was like you, you, you can't like. They should like GPS track it or something. Be like, dude, I it was in the post. So sometimes I take pictures of stuff. I've had to put stuff on the counter before. And then you take pictures. I don't know what I did with all my. There's a bunch of stickers. So I have a pink pig for sale to wind up. It's not been selling. I have a bra, nursing bra. These pipes. I don't even know if they're still listed on there. They're supposed to be. I have these corner brackets. I was building a sink with a cabinet. I have this, nobody wanted this. Um, then I have the necklace I made in here. It's associated with the stuff that I was gonna sell, the homemade items. This is for sale. Someone else has the same one with a better picture. And this is not listed yet. I built a sink and I lost my job. I was looking for work. I built a sink so that I could get in network with my key, and they never came back for the inspection, so I'm not in network. And those people lie, stole, cheated me out so much. The people that do inspections, I'm not saying the people that work for the other people, but the people. And the lady was so rude and so racist, and she was training another lady, and that lady took over that, um, where am I looking for stickers? Let me think. I just have the stickers. I literally just have stickers. I cut them. I cut a bunch of them. And I put, oh, now you have so many stickers. I need to tell myself out loud. I thought I put them in there. It might be in there. Wrapping paper, tissue paper, and then a huge envelope held to a really big book that <coughs> may be well postage wise in an envelope versus a box. So we're going to take, oh, yeah, I already got the tape, I was looking for the tape. We're going to take the first item. This is so time consuming. Alright, so we're going to take the first item. It's going to Michigan, where I used to live. So we're going to change the subject. Since I have 10 minutes, let's get out of here. I um, 
And so what I do is I fold it, I try fold it, and um, I didn't check this. I think I did check it. I try fold it so that I can use it as a little bit of support. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna go in this envelope. I don't have to put it in this envelope, but this envelope's a little big. Sometimes I put cardboard in there in the back, or like a stock card stock, or like what is the other one? Chipboard or whatever. I don't really have any out right now. And I didn't weigh it without what I do. I don't put the sticker on the outside. I could. I've done it before. I might do it one day next time. And I take the letter and I fold. The sticker. I don't know if anyone even uses stickers. I fold it um, with my hand right under. And sometimes I I would put the mailing label on first because <laughs> it's going to be bumpy. You're out tape for it everywhere. Um, this envelope is a little big, and it's kind of making me feel concerned. It's making me feel concerned that it's going to wobble around, so. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to fold it. I don't like doing that. Let's see if I can put it in sideways. What would you do? I can put it in sideways, but then it's... You have to be careful. Before I was putting... I almost feel like getting... I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap it in bubble wrap. Okay. This is really this. Bubble wrap. I don't. I don't want my stuff to arrive all weird. I'm gonna go downstairs. I think one piece is good. Might be over again. It was too warm. I can always save this piece if it's not big enough. Oh, shoot. This is not perforated. Perforated. I should have cut that. That looks bad. I'm going to push pause. You know what we're going to do? We're going to wrap it. We're going to wrap it up like this. Grab a clear tape. I am a ridiculous eBay. I think some people order my stuff just to see if the comments are about the way that I wrap stuff. <laughs> I think people just want to see how, what everyone else is talking about. This is the way I wrap. I don't want the edges bent, so I'm going to put tape on it. And then I've got stuff from Amazon or from somewhere else where they wrap it horribly, like, they'll throw a piece of this in there, maybe they wrapped it with it, and by the time it gets to me, it's, like, they won't tape it down, like, the thing, like, say it's a glass necklace ball or something, and it comes out in a big box with a piece of this thrown in there, and it's just, like, Clanking around, and it's not in a package. It's like all the color is all faded off because it's like been shook up on that. It was so bad. I'm like so OCD that I'm willing. I could save a lot in shipping if I didn't do this. So, what we're gonna do is this is like kind of bad. <laughs> the tape part on the bottom is really bad. I did a really but I don't want to tape the letter because this is not big enough. I just want to deal with it. I'm going to stick this in here. And I'm going to do the other one. Okay, I'm going to do one at a time. Alright, so this still weighs. So what I did was I weighed it. Um, I have it written down. I weighed this 
And I had to write books and where it's going, so I don't get mixed up. But going to Michigan, okay, so it was 4.8 when I weighed it, and it's still 4.8. So, if you are sure that with the tape, this tape, the packing tape is, this tape is, the shipping tape was thicker than the packaging tape, I think. I don't know. I had some more thinner tape. I liked it. It was nice and sticky. It was light. This is thick. Heavy. Especially if you, you know, big poly bags are really heavy. So, poly bags, these are, weigh a little bit, but regular um, bubble wrap by itself and then plain poly bags by itself are negligible. So, if you're saying the book by itself weighs 3.8, I'd still weigh it like between 4 and 5 ounces. If you think you have uh, paper that you might have to put some tissue paper or packy peanuts in it, I would go higher and pay the extra like 20 cents. That's me. I don't want anything returned and I don't want it messed up on shipping because then it's going to get returned and then you're going to have to double pay shipping. So I said it weighed 4.8 and I said the D 4.4. And why did I say that? Because I estimated because I didn't have it like this all wrapped up in it ready to go when I, um, I didn't have it like this when I paid for shipping, <laughs> basically, I think I did it before I went to work yesterday, and I didn't, I had the, this container and a couple of random pieces of paper that were sitting on the table and the items individually, um, and I've done it where the tape, you got 4.8 and the tape makes it go to 5.1 and you're like, oh shoot, and I actually had to double pay shipping and I didn't I thought I had 30 days to ask for a return but it was 30 days that they have to give you the return because you had like seven days to file a double and so it's like wasted money and I should have gone through PayPal to see if I could get it back but I really messed up because I think it wasn't I think it was like 10 bucks I think I was so mad but when you work it's like then you go to work in another job and you're like well I just wasted my first hour of pay <laughs> And then you already pay ten bucks. You pay twenty bucks for shipping for something somebody paid six bucks for. You do. You just got like negative four before. You just for shipping. You got negative four dollars, not even counting the fees in the store and that you have to buy these materials. It's like so stupid. It doesn't even seem smart. Someone yesterday was saying I'm tired, and they're like, I'm tired of being poor. They're like, I want to be a millionaire, and I was like walking away saying a million isn't that much money anymore <laughs> not that I would turn it down but I was like all I was thinking is man you better make sure you know how to do your taxes so that you don't get it all taken away from taxes the first year so I didn't seal it um someone at Goodwill did the same thing they had their package and they did at least one that went around I do that in case something's going to scrape at your package um my old relatives used to always put inside of a present the card with the addresses on it and I always feel like if the label falls off or the package gets damaged they write on a sharpie that the, somehow this person will get this item because there's a you know, address inside and it won't go to the graveyard so this is the back um it's shake it around you don't want it bent or anything but right now because I have to go to work um, so it's something to think about if you have something old or rare that you really want to put to board even like some stuff at work say I have a poster that or something that I had to hang up and they put a piece of chipboard in the envelope so just recycling it I'll bring it home occasionally and I don't, that doesn't happen very often if I see it in the store or if it's you have a notebook and legal pad in the back it's kind of silly to give someone trash but that could go in here or even two pieces of um, cardstock that starts to cost more and more you weigh a piece of paper for me it's like 2.0.2 ounces my scale only goes plus or minus 0.2 so it could be it could be 1.2 or 0.12 it can be like it it's not it's going to jump up to the next not very accurate. So I put tape around this. This type of eBay envelope has the tear strip. So you're going to want to make sure no one... I've had stuff tampered with when I was receiving mail over the years and I hate it. Um, so that means someone inside is stealing your crap. Um, this one's ready to go. 
and I'm trying to find a place to keep it off the floor. So I'm going to write on this package slip, which is more wasted paper, one of two, I'll say one of two, um, to drop off, uh, I'll say PM, since it's fall right now, 9-21-18 USPS in person. I don't know my station. Okay. So next we have this going to say first name D and Callie. So I'm gonna cut off the, the stickers one time. I don't know what happened. I was using the stickers that you can just peel and stick and it really messed up my printer. Um, the last time it might be because I got a different brand and I've been really scared. But it's like 50 to 75 cents a page. If it's going to print the receipt on the bottom and the label on top, it's not worth it. If I was doing 10 a day, I would do double stickers. Like, this guy would have, this lady would have one lady's mailing label on the top, one on the bottom, and I just wouldn't get the receipt. I might actually download the receipt because this stuff disappears off your eBay. I don't know if it does or how long it takes. Um, okay, I'm going to put Friday on both of these. Um, these are going into my thing. It'd be nice to know how much they paid you for the item. I think it says, it. oh, no, it doesn't. It'd be nice if you knew how much they paid you and how much the shipping is. But because of what I just said about not being you got to pay before you have the label, and you, I don't seal the envelope until I pay, because you might have something that's going to jump from 7 bucks to ten fifty to ship, based on if you use a box or a bag. So until you know that you know that you know that this will fit in this container, you don't want to. Um, should I do the same thing? I'm going to do the same thing. I don't need it for this. You, you know that you want to measure it really accurately so you don't have to deal with trying to miss a deadline for a return that they may not even give you. They should because you didn't use the service. You used the, and what happened to me and messed up when I printed a second label and didn't void the first one. I didn't void it because I thought the customer would get a message saying your order is voided. And it scared me because I was like, oh, they're going to contact eBay. And you know what happened? It said that I had two packages. And that only two out of two got sent, not one out of two. That really messed with me. So then this guy's probably getting an email saying you got two packages, but then only one got sent. And then it, it messed up my defects. It made it look like I was really defective. <sighs> Next, I'm going to take the second letter, which I misplaced. <laughs> it's really bad. Really, really bad. Fit weighs 4.8 without being sure you're going to want to make it at 5 ounces for clothing and other paper products. 0 to 4 is 266 and then it goes like 274 so you want to be careful with that. Since I didn't package it, I didn't know if I was going to put paper in it. I said both of these were 8 ounces and I'm paying that's the same for a book or a non-commercial DVD. I think it's the same on from zero to one pound, one to two pound, two to three pound. And so you end up um shoot, I just messed up this one. I'm gonna redo it. I heard someone outside my room and I jumped. So, um, I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? I don't have them anymore, but the small, um, the small packages, I, I just use a smaller piece of paper because it won't fit in the envelope big like that. So this one is like that. Just save that envelope or that thing. I had a stack of those. 
So if you say eight ounces and you pay for it and you realize it's gonna shake around and get all weird in the um, delivery, then you put packing peanuts or whatever you have and then you know to check it before you seal it and check it before you go to the post office or put it in a box to make sure it's under eight ounces. So it's not like freaky. It's not like scale. Like you're basically technically paying for more, but you're allowing more packaging and more weight. Um, and if you constantly weigh an item and it's 4.9, 4.8 on my 4.6, and you're scared about the weight of the tape, and it's going to cost you 25 more cents to do the next weight up, what sucks is that I do that and then I pay more and then once you seal it up and go to the post office, they're like, oh, it weighs you know, 3.7. I just paid extra money and like your, then your net is negative 12 cents. I'm like, if I didn't pay the extra money, I would have had plus, plus 10 cents, you know, not counting the cost of paper and pens and all that. This is the longest video. Oh, I just spelled it wrong. Don't think that. <laughs> it reads really good. I know. I don't care. I'm just gonna redo it. This is not uncommon when I'm. I cannot. I don't write like I did when I was a kid. When I was in school, when you're multitasking, that's a focus. So I, I've shared and not posted about a few men that talked to me since 2015 when I lost my job. And I basically got laid off after having a car accident. And having accommodations letter and um, having to train my replacement. I was overqualified for the job, but I was like, um, it had it had nice pay for the job, you know. I could have. So it was, I was overqualified, so you're not going to get paid what you should get paid at the job that you should have. And it had days that were actually closed. It was the worst, worst, worst. What happened is these people ganged up on somebody. They ganged up on two people. And one, they saw a website where I had volunteered for this program, this medical program with the person that they despised that they got rid of before me. And then they drove everyone else to just quit. Like, I think seven people quit. And I didn't. And this other person who's a narcissist um, talked these people into thinking that she was the queen and that she knew everything and everyone else was stupid but then when she was failing at everything then she would go back and be like oh yeah let, let me uh, do that she's really good at that <laughs> or customers were complaining and saying that lady sucks we want somebody else to get me to do it and um, they don't hear those kind of stories because that's between you and the reception you and the appointment making people so you end up having everyone quit help me I'm like I got rent I'm not, I don't quit jobs I don't and it, it got to where they were trying to on my days off they would make these critical errors in medicine and try to blame me for it and it got really really um, scary and so I was like this my friend kept saying don't let these people ruin your reputation don't let these people ruin your reputation and I was like She's like, you're a doctor, don't let them ruin. And I said, okay, I this is, this is, they are setting me up, they're lying. And it's, I said, I'm going to 
leave, and I didn't have a chance that Wednesday, the Friday I was going to leave, they told me I had to do it for my medical career, just like this lady said. The Friday I was going to leave, the Wednesday before the Friday I had written a letter to leave, resign, they laid me off anyways, so, because I, they were really messing with my future and my present, like, if I made a mistake, I'll own up to it, but they were saying that I was needing to do this corrective action on days I wasn't even there, and I was like, wait, such and such did this, why are you, I'm like, just sign it, sign it, if you want to work, just sign it. do this, if you want to be, you know, I should have just said, well, I'm not going to sign it, so apparently then you're not going to put me in a schedule, like, but when you have little kids at home, and you live in the streets, and live in tents, and live on the people's floors, and live with, you know, drugies and all this, you don't want to um, go back to that. So it's like the kids don't have to deal with it, but I do. So this is, you can double check the, the label, the one that says to approve. Going to Kelly, to this lady, make sure you have the right item. And then pull that off. So I have like these guys and I didn't really know like what to do because these people I talked about learning relationships and changes and I'm like are these these guys are cute, are they single and you know, this is a community where it's not like someone came off the street and just said, Hey babe, let's talk. It's like someone in your community so you don't know if they're just talking to you or they can so part of your community and that's what you do or if they are like want to be friends or more so I never got any clues and so um, as I research Google it seems that if you don't get any clues that they don't like you and if they like you they're going to make it known um this guy yesterday that I've known for almost a year so I think that I'm from that hood I was like do I look and act and sound like I'm from the hood. I was like, you ain't been in a hood, buddy. Like, even my relatives who grew up in the inner city were like so distinguished and so well-mannered and so proper and like so educated, well-spoken. And it's like, <laughs> like that was like, this is not TV that think that all black people choose to live in some ghetto just because that's the only reason, you know? I have my hair on. So, uh, I'm like, I am an individual who grew up really wealthy, and I don't, but I've never, the only ghetto I've lived in is here because of segregation, and they don't allow me to get a private apartment or a home you know, with the money and good credit score and good hit rent history. A little extra tape on that. You always want to look around and make sure you don't forget something. If you do, you'll shout at me mad because I say, Dag on it. Now I get it open and we use the package. Sometimes you can get them open. If you do use a chipboard envelope um, or like a big envelope like that, you're going to end up saying, Oh my god, I just ruined a $4 envelope. But you might be able to get it open and steal it back. Or you might just say, You know, lost goods. Um, I got to go clean up. I have five minutes before I have to leave. And I, I don't want to wear this hair tie either. I'm going to because I'm in a hurry. Um, so it's been really, um, let me go here. I'm going to speak up. My kid was on the other side of the door. It's been like one of those things where I... library was out. I'm gonna get dressed and it's 
Oh, it's really time to go. So I'm like, I'm like sitting here in my mind thinking, like, I don't even wash my freaking work clothes. Like, that sucks. I'm sitting here thinking, wow, like, everybody I know, they have a girlfriend, they break up with their girlfriend, they have a, a guy that has a baby with somebody, and then they talk about his baby, and like, if you ever talk to my girlfriend, like, oh, that guy just broke up, and his baby's in the ass, and they just come up, they're like, wow, these people really know how to get around meet people, you know, and I'm like, wow, it's like over 14 years of being single, and it's like, you just feel like, this is bad, like, this is like, more than bad, it's like, it's so embarrassing, um, I'm just gonna follow my thoughts, and just black cloud on my life, and this is when we're all sober, I don't know if it's like, I might be all the, the socks that have and I'm like, I have to sew up. So, um, there's a pair of pants. I don't know where they are. Um, I need a black shirt, a button up shirt. They're trying to light on. But yeah, I need a black shirt. So it's like having like where you're at. How do you say this? You're just like, wow, like, I'm single, and I'm, but what I'm doing, it, what I complain about not having money, I was like, oh gosh, I haven't balanced my checkbook in forever because there's no money in it because my tax return, but I don't touch that money except to pay bills, and I'm like, why does someone else get my checkbook on just so I can have, you know, an uh, office phone that I never I'm like so mad like you guys are like stealing like you guys are getting all the money in your pocket and I'm like God help me get money in my pocket and so that's what I get kind of mad about and so I'm trying to get a nice black pen here and put that there I'm gonna tidy up even though I'm running behind schedule I'm gonna tidy up the workspace as much as you can so that things are back you, you sell something in the middle of the night and you want to do the shipping label and you can start getting it ready like, so you have to leave at 8 in the morning you can start getting it ready um, or you have to leave at 9 you have to even get it up to the box or to the post office um, so I have the two packages I just use the same envelope sometimes I do a little bit different ways or I do Oh, it's like truly your I literally have to go. Um, I don't have time to grab food. I have two bananas. I don't want to grab them. So I was going to get a plastic bag. I think I do have a trash bag. Where's the bag? Where's the bag? I see it there. Let's reveal. Oh, guess what? That's how stupid. Blah, blah, blah. I already had some. But it's a different. A little bit different, like reveal. So that's kind of good to know. And I'm gonna put the 
open it up. I'm going to put this bubble, or whatever this is, in here. Maybe it's the other way. I'm going to put this bag. I just want to go to eBay. Uh, I don't know if I can put this next to the printer. I don't know. Wait, there's holes in the side. I don't want food or junk on there. So I'm going to put these in here, and I'm not going to leave this in the car. Some people go on lunch. There it is somewhere I don't have to hide it. I'm not leaving this in the car. I have to issue a refund. I get stolen. I don't want this in your bag. You don't want much Monday or Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday would be nice. Um, adios, guys. So we're, I'm gonna come back and talk. Like, there's nothing to say. I think what's time to do with this one person I'm, that I talk to occasionally. I don't want to shut the door, but in my mind right now, it's like just let it go. Like, just like make sure you do what you do for yourself and not try to distract your life because you might have some romantic interest. Bye.